Mobile cameras are advancing in enormous speed and some of the models are getting closer and closer to producing DSLR-like photos and videos. Well, except this one. And some of the mobile users are super talented and they take beautiful photos and footage right with their phones. Shutterstock agency knows it very well since they experienced fast-paced growth in generation of mobile stock photographers. The time has been never better to start monetizing your photos and videos because Shutterstock just updated their contributor app on both platforms, iOS and Android. And that's what we will be talking today in today's video. We will be looking at this app very closely. For the new faces, my name is Zdenka Darla and I've been shooting stock since 2007. Back to stock, all images must be at least 4 megapixels in size and set to the highest quality. All video must be between 5 to 60 seconds long and maximum is 4 gigabytes. And these guys can do it. If you have great files sitting on the phone and you want to make a few bucks, all you have to do is download Shutterstock Contributor app launch it and sign up as a contributor and yes it's all free once they approve you then you can submit your photos and videos right away from your phone if you have been shutterstock contributor for a while just like me and use mainly desktop to submit your files maybe it's time for you to download this app as well and check that out in fact i have some photos here which i can upload to shutterstock right now so let's do this together and see how it works. Once I open up the application, I'm just going to hit the upload going images now, which would be this arrow at the bottom. And I'm going to select this file. And now I can just enter description, keywords and categories. And here the tool is actually suggesting me some keywords which I found pretty handy. Once I'm done with the keywords, I will just select categories. And select editorial since it is uh, showing factory GM here from the city. I don't need any release for that and just hit the submit. If you photograph people and need model release, you can upload it with your photo. If you want to use electronic form, use application called Easy Release. You can also upload property release. You can also access all model releases you submitted in the past and are stored in your user account. And if you use paper form of model release just like me, all you have to do is just take a photo of it with your phone and upload it there as well. Once you are done, submit it, your photos have been accepted and they are now in your online portfolio. All you have to do now is just log into your Shutterstock Contributor app to see in real time your commissions and sales. Also, you can receive push notifications to see which photos are right now in high demand in your region. That is very useful. That's it for today's video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to give it thumbs up and subscribe for all future videos. Don't forget to hit the um, bell notification button to know when the next video is up. Let me know if you have any questions, comments when it comes to stock, or if you would like to see um, certain video on a certain topic, you can do so in the video comment section below and I'll read it all and I'll respond all. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ahoy.